Well, good morning, everyone. We are so thankful that you're here today and joining us for this uh, auspicious occasion, the groundbreaking here at Hilliard Tech. My name is Eileen Houston Stewart, and I'm the Director of Communications for the St. Joe School District and I will be serving as your MC this morning. So thank you for taking the time to join us. And today is a new chapter for our school district and for our city. And this would not be possible without the generous support from so many of you who are here today. Before we celebrate the reason we are here this morning, I wanna share some history with those of you who might not be familiar with Hilliard Technical Center. The school was founded in 1943 through persistent efforts and generous donations of time and wealth. The school was a leader in job training for de defense plant workers during World War II and later for retraining veterans for civilian jobs. In 1982, the school moved to this site and the St. Joseph School Board of Education approved the change of the institution's name to Hilliard Technical Center. The program has grown where students from 19 area schools in Northwest Missouri have access to one of the most modern career centers in the state of Missouri. So just as it was 80 years ago, several organizations and individuals have given their time, their effort, their expertise, and generosity to bring us to this moment in HTC's history, to break ground on a 22,000 square foot expansion of this current building, which will house a simulated manufacturing facility. This will allow more students to participate in the manufacturing pathway program and prepare them for future job opportunities. So it is an exciting day in St. Joe, and we are glad that you made it a priority to be here today. At this time, I'd like to ask our superintendent, Dr. Gabe Edgar, to come forward with remarks, followed by remarks from Mr. David Foster, our president of the school board. Dave. Thank you, Eileen. Well, that was loud. Okay, at this time, I would just like to take an opportunity to thank the members of the uh, superintendent cabinet that's here. Um, a lot of you have been instrumental in getting us to this point so thank you for all your, all your efforts and I have a special thanks to the Chamber of Commerce uh, for being a champion of this expansion thank you to uh, Pat Lilly former C uh, president and CEO um, Natalie Redmond um, current president and CEO Christy Arthur uh, the director of workforce development um, and Tama Wagner Community Alliance for working side by side with the district and the staff uh, to make this a reality. You know, a lot of times here in St. Joe, we struggle to make things reality, and, and today really is a, a big day. Uh, the 2021 American Rescue Plan, uh, Citizens Committee for making initial recommendations to use ARPA dollars uh, to fund the project. So a special thanks to the city uh, and also the, the county. I know the commissioners couldn't be here, but I saw Lee Sawyer, uh, him, and he's been very instrumental behind this, so thank you as well. And then also I'd like to take an opportunity to uh, uh, recognize the general contractor for the job, uh, Chris Herner and uh, Herner Construction. Um, thank you for uh, going through the bidding process. Um, it was very, very competitive. It was all local and we're excited about uh, creating that partnership. So at this time I would like to introduce Mr. Foster, the, the President of the Board of Education. Good Lord, I'm cold. God. It's a good day, though. Uh, you know, there, once upon a time, there was a time where you'd have to drag kids to trade school, and now we have a waiting list. Uh, so I'm really excited about that. I'm a trade school guy. Uh, once upon a time, there was a kid that was trying to figure out what he wanted to do with his life. And, uh, you know, he checked around. He really looked up to his uncle. And his uncle was a construction guy and owned his own company. But his parents said all our kids go to college. So he decided to give that a shot for a couple of years. And he did that, and then later he decided he'd rather do something in trades. You know, so he went to Vanderbilt and graduated with computer-aided design and drafting. My mouth is a little frozen. <laughs> um, and after he did that, he eventually started flipping houses and remodeling houses. And then he went on to, as of recently, open up his own construction and remodeling company. And I heard it's doing pretty well, that guy. And uh, he's, he's really excited about that. And uh, I heard he's also a school board member now, too. So uh, thank you all very much for coming out. You know, my dream personally is that one day that we would highlight some of these trade schools like we do uh, at some of the universities on billboards and show that we are just as proud as th of them, too. 
Uh, but at this time, I'd like to introduce the Board of Education and those of us that are here. Uh, and Vice President, if you would stand, Ms. Latanya Williams. <laughs> One of my good friends, Mr. Rick Gilmore, who is our most senior board member. I haven't seen him, but I suppose he might be on his way. Mr. Kenny Reeder, if you could give him a round of applause. I see her in the back right there, and that's Mrs. Sara Garcia. And right to my right is Miss Kim Miller. I haven't seen him, he's also a trade guy, but that's Mr. Phil Vandal. Uh, we do appreciate the city of St. Joseph and our mayor, John Josendale, our city council, uh, manager Brian Carter for approving the ARPA funding for this project, uh, and Mayor Josendale for shepherding this through. Uh, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Uh, thanks to the Buchanan County Commissioners for approving the ARPA funding for the project. Uh, Lee Sawyer, Ron Hooks, uh, Ron Hooks, uh, Scott Burnham, and now Scott Nelson for your support. Uh, I'm told that they're not able to make it today, is that correct? Missouri Senator Tony Lukemeyer for helping secure funding for new equipment and being the champion in the Missouri legislator, Legislature for additional funding. Uh, if he's here, please stand. I haven't seen him. And finally, the St. Joseph delegation of the House of Representatives, uh, Representative Brenda Shields, Bill Faulkner, uh, for supporting the expansion. Please stand if you're here. Uh, but once again, we do appreciate all of you for coming out, and I believe this is just the beginning for St. Joseph being the capital for trade schools in the state of Missouri. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Foster. And thank you, Dr. Edgar. This time I'd like to introduce Jill Huntsman. She's the director of Hilliard Technical Center who will explain what this expansion means to our current and our future HTC students. Good morning. Thank you all for coming and helping us to celebrate on this balmy March morning. I promise that the next time that we all get together to celebrate at the completion of this project, it will be a little bit warmer. So you are all invited back um, in probably around May to August of 2024 to help us celebrate the completion of the expansion. This project started as a vision. It was one shared and shaped by many individuals within our district, our industry partners, and our community. And now today, the vision is becoming a reality. This vision came about by taking a good look at the present and the future of St. Joseph. We began to dig deeper into where we are as a community, where we wanted to go, and what role Hilliard Technical Center would play in achieving those goals. After several meetings with the Chamber of Commerce, as well as district administration, the concept of a simulated manufacturing facility came about. Our manufacturing programs here, specifically welding technology, industrial equipment repair and maintenance, and precision machine technology are in need of renovation in order to meet the current needs of the industry. This expansion will allow future students to be able to cross train between these programs as well as placing the emphasis on project-based learning. With this expansion, HTC will be able to expand enrollments, add equipment, and increase productivity, which will in turn create a larger pool of highly trained employees for our community. Even beyond this expansion, we continue to look at the future needs of both students and the St. Joseph community. As we are all well aware, a project of this magnitude requires many moving pieces and points of view. Hilliard Technical Center has been lucky enough to have a diverse group of people lend their thoughts and expertise to this project. Our advisory council is a group of local business and education partners who have dedicated time each month to help guide this project. If present, I invite the members of the advisory council to please stand when your names are read Please hold applause until after all members are recognized. 
The members of this council are Al Landis, Lou Tateo with WorkForge, Christy Arthur, St. Joseph Chamber of Commerce, Rebecca Bledsoe, Mosaic, Dr. Elizabeth Kennedy, Missouri Western State University, Ryan Schultz, RS Electric, Ryan Lundy, Reardon Machine, Matt Holtman, Gray Manufacturing, Eric Bruder, Herzog, Mike Moore, Altec, and SJSD board member Kenneth Reeder. Along with these members, our district leadership composed of Dr. Gabe Egger, Dr. Ashley McGinnis, and Dr. Lara Gilpin have worked alongside this group to steer this project. Please help me in thanking them for their work towards making this vision a reality. Along with Hilliard Technical Center Advisory Council, another instrumental group in this project are our staff members. Hilliard Technical Center would not be able to serve our community and students without the group of dedicated staff that we have. They are unquestionably focused on student success and do everything in their power to ensure this. All HTC staff members, please, I have stand, but I think you're all standing, so wave your hands and be recognized for all of your hard work and dedication. I would be remiss if I didn't extend a personal thank you to everyone who has been a part of this process. From those at the county and city who approved funding to make all this possible, to our industry partners who are eager to help, to those in the district and this building. This project is a huge step forward for our students, our building, our district, and our community. Thank you for all of your support, your work, and your faith. Thank you for investing in our students and our community and for trusting in Hilliard Technical Center. Thank you. Thank you, Jill. Dr. Elizabeth Kennedy, the president of Missouri Western State University, has been an advocate and valued partner with the school district in the development of several initiatives. Please welcome Dr. Kennedy. Well, thank you so much. I just want to speak a few words. You know, a lot of uh, thanks and acknowledgments have already been given, so I can be brief and concise, which we will appreciate on this blustery day. Uh, but I do see um, this is just a monumental occasion for the community of St. Joseph, for the school district, because what we're seeing is the embodiment of education, particularly career technical education, and the impact that that will have on our students, their families, and every single resident of our city of St. Joseph and our region. I am so proud to have been part of this group. I can't wait to see where we go with this. And I also think it, it also provides a clear cut line between education as a public good. Look at what we can do with these opportunities. Look at what an education from Hilliard Technical Career Education Center will do for our students and our community. And I think I'm so excited to continue the collaborations that we've had with the school district, working with Dr. Edgar, um, Jill, her entire team has just been phenomenal. And I will just give you a bit of a preview. There's another building that will have a groundbreaking in about a month and a half or two months. So the, war the weather will be warmer. <laughs> and we'll invite you back to Missouri Western for our uh, dovetail into this project as well. So congratulations, Dr. Edgar Jill, everyone on the Hilliard team. I think this is just a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy. We have recognized many individuals and organizations that have supported this initiative in various ways. And as we conclude this portion of our program, I'd like to ask Mr. Mike Moore, Principal Engineering Manager at Altec, to come forward with remarks and a special presentation. Thank you, Eileen. I know you guys are like, I really don't want to hear him talk. <laughs> but I have some things that you need to hear, okay? Um, folks, I need to recognize just a few of my teammates here, if I could, please. Um, uh, Lana Beavers, please stand up. She's our Regional Manager of Human Resources uh, for Altec. Sean Brome is in the back. Sean is our Corporate Director of Product Engineering. And John Arns. John is our General Manager of the entire St. Joe facility. So. Thanks for being here and supporting, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, also, uh, my wife, Kim, if she could put her hand up. <laughs> Happy 32nd wedding anniversary. Oh, 
Guys, I got one more I need to mention. He couldn't be with us. He's at a trade show. But Mr. Kenneth Calhoun is a teammate of mine and, and an absolute superstar in workforce development in the state of Arkansas and um, uh, really going nationwide with some of his abilities. And so uh, he's been my mentor, and I thank him today. Um, it is a tremendous honor to stand before you and represent the Altec Foundation, the Sticelinger family, and the skilled men and women that build our equipment um, every day. And we're here to support this program expansion at Hilliard. And it would be hard to overstate the importance of the skilled trades to St. Joseph and, in fact, uh, our entire nation. There's been a sentiment for years that Hilliard Tech is a hidden gem in our community and uh, you know, let it be hidden no more. This is about to get real. <laughs> the expansion of uh, welding and machining programs here is vital to the manufacturing businesses in and around our community. And thinking of the new diesel technology program, I, I was fortunate enough to spend the week with the, okay, bear with me here, the Truck Maintenance Council of the American Trucking Association. What you need to know about that is it's 4,500 people gathered together to talk about nothing but trucks and trucking. <laughs> and uh, there was great discussion about new safety features, electric trucks, um, um, public policy, and this would go on for like 15 hours in a day. Um, but not a session went by without acknowledging the need for more qualified truck technicians. Their primary theme was workforce development. 4,500 people talking about it. In fact, 28,000 jobs need to be filled in truck, truck uh, repair, truck technicians, every year through the end of the decade. 28,000 jobs nationwide. So we're, we're on to something here, folks. We have a great opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, I've heard for too long and too often that St. Joseph is a community that doesn't support education. So today, we're sending some strong messages to my fellow businesses here that you are a powerful player in workforce development. Evidence of this is the matching of Altec funds by the state of Missouri, Department of Higher Education and Workforce Development. Now, these folks love to support initiatives that are backed by local companies. And there's never in the history been more public funding available for workforce development. So if you haven't already, jump on in with us. The water's fine. <laughs> Listen to the teachers and staff, uh, teachers, teachers. Uh, Eileen mentioned it, 19 schools served in an eight county region by Hilliard Tech, both public and private. And uh, especially the ones, the folks right here in St. Joe are teachers. Hear that the businesses know that you have a tough job. Hear that. And that we are committing to not only the creation and expansion of these and other programs, but we're committed to ensure that they're sustained at a world-class level for years to come. We're here to support you, and your success is our success. Most importantly to the families and students served by Hilliard Tech. Hear that we need you. We need you as part of a skilled workforce to lead our businesses into an era of unprecedented technical growth. The community needs your talents to make St. Joseph a premier destination for families to not only work, but to call home. And what's in it for you, the student? Great paying, challenging careers with a terrific growth potential. Now, let's give some money. <laughs> Dave, you want to come up or? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, the real check's already been given, so this is actually. <laughs> these, these are my notes. <laughs> Just want to say thanks again to the uh, Altec Corporation, and uh, I mean we appreciate it. And it's gonna—I can promise you one thing—that the money will be spent well. You cannot spend bad money on kids.
Thank you, Mike, and thank you, um, Altec. We're already thinking ahead. When the project is completed, we want to invite you back for a ribbon cutting ceremony so you can see the finished product live and in person for yourself. So we'll give you plenty of advance notice and we look forward to that day. Following the reception, we have hot coffee and treats <laughs> inside. And so if you just go right around the corner there, the door is open and we would love to have you stay and celebrate with us. At this time, as we mark this special occasion, we're gonna move to the area behind me here with the shovels and the hard hats to do the symbolic uh, turning of the soil for the construction of a new state-of-the-art addition that will provide an innovative space that will serve students from St. Joseph and the surrounding area for generations to come. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're so grateful for all of your support. Have a great day.